everybody and welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and here we are Christmas afternoon and I wanted to share with you one of the gifts that I got for Christmas from my wonderful husband and let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what that is all right guys so this is take two um, because somehow my first part of this video disappeared so this is the Nostalgia My Mini 7 Egg Cooker. And it makes seven soft, medium, or hard boiled eggs at a time. And it chimes uh, to let you know when it's done cooking. And it's got an egg bowl where you can make scrambled eggs and omelets and poached eggs. And includes an egg white separator tool. And this shows you the different parts there, which I'll show you in a second. You can make omelets and scrambled eggs, as I said, pot stickers and dim sum, steamed vegetables and poached eggs, and probably all kinds of things. So, here is the maker taken out of the box. We got our lid that has vent holes here that uh, you want to not have it right directly under your cabinet. You want to, anything that makes steam, don't put it under your cabinets because over time it will warp your cabinets. Or in the case of ones like this that have like a laminate over it, uh, it will actually peel that laminate off. So just don't, don't put it under your cabinets when you're um, using anything that steams. So anyways, so there's the lid. And this has all been washed and used and put away because this is after the video um, the next day because I went to edit and part of my video is gone. So there's your egg white your egg yolk and white separator. Um, a lot of times your egg yolk will fall out the holes. <laughs> so hopefully this one will work. I haven't tried that, but I don't really need an egg separator to separate eggs. All right, here is the measuring cup that tells you up at the top, you know, for custard, you fill that with water uh, for custard. Here's for hard boiled eggs, medium, and soft boiled is down here. Or I can drop it. So um, the amount of water, yep. The amount of water that you put in this little cup and then dump into this portion of the maker, you can tell it's been made because it's got um, hard water spots. Um, however much you pour in there de make, uh, determines how long the cooker will cook. So, uh, on the bottom of your little, uh, measuring cup is your little nail to poke the holes in the top of the eggs. And this is the little cup that you do your scrambled eggs or your, uh, omelets or steam your vegetables or whatever. It's kind of small, but again, this is a mini, remember? And here is the egg tray that you actually use to make the hard boiled eggs. But also if you're going to use it as, um, you know, to make the omelets or whatever, you leave that in there to hold the, this portion up off the bottom. You don't want anything touching the bottom where it would probably melt. So those are the pieces and the parts. Here's the uh, on off toggle here and it lights up, which you'll see later. Um, and I don't know what uh, you missed from the um, recipe book. Hang on a second. They, they give you a booklet. They give you instructions in more than one language. Um, English, Spanish, French, and maybe just English, Spanish, and French. But anyways. Um, I already looked through this a bit, but let's go here. Okay, it shows you the pieces and parts, which we just went through. Uh, how to operate. So we are going to put this on a clean, dry surface. Well, we've got that covered. And there are your cook times and the amount of eggs and all of that. And it tells you um, all the steps, okay, for this. I'm going to go ahead and, because I don't have a way of putting my... Um, tripod out here really at the moment because of cats I'm going to pause you and then we will um, I'll get some things ready 
So anyways, it tells you to um, pierce the bigger end of the egg. So I don't know if you just take this and push down on it and hope. I'm going to do it over the sink. <laughs> just, just in case. Hey. It started to pierce. I heard it and I thought it did. Didn't quite get it all the way in. Okay, guys. Um, you just basically hold it. I'll do it on camera. Um, I think it said to put the pierced end up. I'll double check before I start. It also said to test your eggs by, you know, putting them in a glass of water. And we're going to hope that since we bought these recently, like with, since we bought the house on Friday, that they're actually fresh eggs. Um, so you just put this point on the end of the egg and you just push down. I'd imagine you don't want to squeeze your egg at the same time. But anyways... I don't think I'm going to do all seven because I also want to try doing the omelet. I don't want to do a poached egg. I don't, well, my husband I think might like poached eggs. Maybe I'll try that. Um, but I think I'll just hard boil four to start with. It makes a very scary noise. I was really concerned about pushing that through there the first time. I did it over the sink because I was a chicken. All right, so all of those four eggs are stabbed just making sure that they were okay so i'm going to put the eggs back in the fridge because i don't want them to get warm while this is while this is doing its thing all right it is plugged in all right so it does say to just put this on top again i just told you not to do this under the um, cabinet so i'm going to try to i don't really like it having it that close to the edge but i don't want it steaming the front of my cabinet and making my um, laminate peel. Maybe even I'll scoot it this way towards the sink more. Okay. All right. Can you see? All right. There's a little uh, toggle switch here. We're just going to switch that to on. And as you can see, maybe you can see, there's an ind indicator light there. Right? And then, how does it know? Cover, let's see pierce it yeah 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 how do we know when it's hard boiled 14 minutes well maybe I should set a timer but I thought that it said it was shut off on its own or you know start beeping at you but we're gonna just go ahead and do the timer regardless again I do not like uh, I do not like soft or medium boiled eggs so let's hope that the 14 minute timer oops Push start. Yeah, yeah. All right. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Still getting used to these new appliances and everything. So anyways, we are going to let that... It's already creating a little steam inside the lid. I don't know if you... Can you see that a bit? So it doesn't take long. It doesn't take long at all. All right. So um, I'm going to pause you here. Obviously, you don't want to watch that steam for... 14 minutes I don't think so in 14 minutes I will come back and we will check and see what's going on it does say to shock these eggs in uh, ice water I don't have any ice but I will do my best with some cold water <laughs> and um, yeah, we're kind of doing this on the fly I had no I, was, I no idea I was going to get this so you know I wasn't prepared for uh, with ice and things. Hello, I really am still here. I still have a head. So anyways, um, I'm going to pause you on the eggs and we'll, we're going to look at the next the next uh, nostalgia uh, gadget. I have this dish filled with really cold water. Okay, and I'm going to be careful because, you know, steam burns and all that. But I have like no feeling in my fingers, hardly. So, yes, I'm pulling these out. They literally just went off. And as you can see, don't do this at home. Don't try that at home, kids. Um, neuropathy. Remember, diabetes is no joke. All right, I think the next time, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm thinking next time I may want to add just a little bit of extra water so that my hard-boiled eggs are hard-boiled. Nope. Nope. I don't want you to get burned. It's going to burn a paw. Nope. Move this out of the way. 
All right, so those need to be, stand in ice water, but I have no ice, but cold water for like 10 minutes. So we are going to go back to making hopefully cat hair free pancakes. Okay, so we have our eggs. It's definitely been 10 minutes. Let me drain the water off of those without hopefully without dumping them. And let's peel one and see what happens, okay? They all turned out really good. Um, no breakage, no, you know, they look great. But let's see if they are hard boiled or if they're medium boiled. Now I did feel, feel, I did fill it up to the hard boil line on the me measuring thing for the water. And I guess that the amount of water determines how long that it steams. So let's hope we do not have a soft boiled or medium boiled egg. Again, though, these are smaller, these are medium eggs, and so it may be um, that, it, that it's not going to matter. All right, so look at that. A problem that I always have with hard-boiled eggs, I love hard-boiled eggs, and they're a great source of protein for, for me. I have to eat a very high-protein diet, um, and I'm supposed to eat every two hours because, again, I remember, no stomach. Um, look came off. One of the problems I have is getting the shell off the egg. Look at that. Perfect. All right, let's go back to our plate that has our pancake. And let's cook, or cut, cook. Let's get a butter knife. Well, let's just get a sharp knife right here. My Emerald Lagasse knife here. That really is, see? I don't know if you can see it, but it really is an Emerald Lagasse knife because I'm a fan. Cut right into that. Guys, it's a perfect, perfect hard boiled egg. Look at that. Perfectly hard boiled. All right, know what we need? We need a little salt and pepper for that. Go over here and um, <clears throat> broke my um, salt shaker. I had glass salt and pepper shaker. So pepper shaker got broken a long time ago. And <laughs> in the move, the salt one got from Ohio to Missouri. Um, got broken. So we are actually, well, that's starting to smell a little bit. We are actually using a smaller pepper shaker. See the difference? For salt. And it works better because with my husband not being able to see, we don't end up with it broken, you know, on the floor. All right. So I'm going to sprinkle this with a little salt. Probably too much salt with my heart problems, but oh, I couldn't see it coming out. And a generous portion of pepper, because they do call me the pepper lady after all. Bon appetit. Ooh, almost, almost dropped it. Mmm, perfect. Mmm, that's so good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Let's check on that waffle. The egg. For the hard-boiled, I am going to say out of one being not a good product, five being a wonderful product, amazing. I'm giving that a five. So all three of those appliances get a five. I do want to, uh, that rating for the egg could go down if it does not, um, if the seven egg cooker does not do well with the omelets and things, but I'm thinking it's going to do, if it did the, egg, the hard boiled eggs well, I think it'll do the omelet well. But I will try that in a moment and we will just, have to uh, find out if my rating of that one changes or not. <clears throat> Sorry. All right, so we're back with the egg maker. We did the wonderful hard-boiled eggs that turned out perfectly. And they do have some recipes from other things besides the hard-boiled eggs. They have deviled eggs. Um, they have egg salad sandwich, vegetarian omelet. Uh, scotch eggs. I like scotch eggs. Sweet potato with poached egg. Now, I don't like poached eggs, but anything with sweet potatoes has got my interest. Steamed egg custard. Hmm, I thought it had some other things. But anyways, um, we are going to try an omelet. So it calls for two egg whites. Well, we are going to use a whole egg. And two egg, egg whites and one whole egg is what it calls for. Fill the measuring cup to the medium line. So 
with water. Now we're gonna do it how it says, and we're gonna hope it's done enough because again, remember, I don't like things undercooked. My brother made me a picture when I first got married, uh, the first time that I got married, that said he, he was cross stitched. My brother can do everything, and um, including crochet. He learned those things. I did not. I can make a granny square. Anyways, I digress. He made me a picture that said, dinner will be done when the smoke alarm goes off. I wish I still had that picture. All right, so we're going to fill that. The lid is off. The machine is off. But it is plugged in. All right, so it says... And it's not because I can't cook. I can cook things less done for people who like it that way. I like things well done. As a matter of fact, I like my steak and stuff so done that I have to tell them I want it extra, extra, extra well. I want it to be like beef jerky. I know it's going to be tough like an old boot. And that's the, how I want it. It's going to be dry. It's going to be tough. I know these things. Just cook it the way I like it. I like the taste of char. I'm weird. I cannot eat underdone meat. I like everything a little more done than most people. All right. Place the egg tray over the heating plate. Got it. Place a little butter or nonstick cooking spray in the egg bowl to avoid sticking. And I forgot to wash the egg bowl, guys. Hang on. That goes cheer. But it needs a dollop of the butter. Let's do the butter because, you know, pan... She already went home for the day. So pan is no longer here. She clocked out. She went home. So no pan spray. So we're going to use the Lando Lakes. Where is she? Well, they don't have her on this, this tub. The Lando Lakes girl. So we're going to put a little small dollop of butter. I know it's a little more than small. But hopefully it really does. Keep it. I'm going to smear it around in there. Because I don't want it to stick. See, very quickly, this butter gets real soft and spreadable. It really is great for, for bread and toast and things. If you just get it out just a few minutes ahead, not like, you know, sticks that you have to get it out like the night before, practically. All right. Mm, lid for the butter. We are done with the butter. So, the land of Lake Squirrel. I'm going to sit that there. So, keep her counter clean. She's going home, too. She clocked out. She's left the building. All right. It's just me and you and... An egg. A couple of eggs. I don't think we need three eggs. You guys, I don't want three eggs. And I won't be able to eat this. I'll have to wake my hubby up and make him eat it. So we are going to give him what he likes. And that would be pepper jack cheese. Now, actually, I don't want to use that. Hang on. This pepper jack cheese, rather than the little individual wrap ones that he takes in his lunch. I don't know what I was thinking. Forgot I had this. I love this, guys. This is a uh, great value, and I know from Walmart, and I know that it's more, it's more pricey to get it cut up. Uh, some days I don't have the strength to cut through the block of cheese if my husband's not here. So these are already pre-sliced and goes right on a cracker. Uh, but look at this. I love this. This reusable container. I didn't even peel this all the way off to keep it from drying out. But you know what you can do with this in a pinch when you're done? You can put a stick of butter on that and you got yourself a butter dish until you can find yours in the move. Mine is MIA. So <laughs> stick butter, that's what I'm going to do until I can find my butter dish. Again, why do we buy something when we have something already that serves that function that we would just throw away? Why would I go out and buy a brand new butter dish when I have one with a lid? A ceramic, you know, one. Why would I go out and buy a new one when I have this that will do the same function, wash it up, and use it? All right. So here we are with our fancy dinnerware again. I hate that I'm using another bowl, uh, but there's still mix in the other one, and it wouldn't probably be very good if we put, you know, egg in with pancake batter. It would, who knows what that would turn into? We're going to do two whole eggs instead of two egg whites and one whole egg because I have uh, nothing to do with the other eggs. Why would I waste the yolks? Now, I could feed two pets or something, but it doesn't make any sense to me. It is healthier, but we're checking the maker. We're not 
so much going for the healthiest alternative. All right, a little salt and pepper. Uh, four. Scramble those up. I could add a little milk to make them a little fluffier, but I'm not gonna. So we're gonna just do it this way. I didn't call for it, so we're not doing it. You could fluff those up longer, but my arm's tired already. All right, move our spoon out of the way. We really don't need that in there at the moment. And we're gonna pour that egg right into that little funky shaped cup there. Now this is not gonna be a traditional folded omelet, but don't forget, we can do it on the griddle, that little mini griddle. Try not to drip. That in the same, I'll get it in a minute. But we are going to take some of this pepper jack cheese because my husband loves all things spicy. And we're going to put two little of these squares right in there. Scooch over, I know you'll fit. All right, put that away because we clean as we go around here. I don't understand people that make a great big mess and then just leave it. All right, and then their stuff goes bad because they didn't put it away and they forgot they got busy watching YouTube me I hope but I don't really want it to be the cause of their stuff to go bad all right whoops we didn't ask we didn't ask the book how long to cook it did we cleaning maintenance well all right I think you just turn it on and it does its own thing right place and prepare your omelet in a bowl and pour it into the egg bowl Place the egg bowl on top of the egg tray, cover with the lid, toggle the switch on. The indicator light will illuminate when omelet is cooked. An audible chime will sound until you toggle off the switch. Right. Scooch it away from the cabinets again. Remember, we don't want to steam our cabinets. It, the laminate would steam right off. And it's not good for uh, real wood cabinets either. All right. Indicator light is on. Let's clean up and I will be right with you. We'll see how this does in the length of time they give. Um, I'm a little skeptical of the doneness of the egg with the medium, but again, I thought that the hard boil wasn't going to get done and it did. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, our timer is a going off on our eggs. Let's turn that off. That's annoying, isn't it? Probably. If my husband could hear, he would think the house was burning down. All right, so we're going to carefully pretend that we have on an oven mitt and carefully take this off. And if you see that steam coming out of there, steam burns are no joke. And my hands are slippery because they're wet. All right, so here is what we're looking at. I know what you're saying. Don't grab it with your bare hands. So there you go. It has a little liquid on the top. Now, I don't know if that is uh, butter if it's oil from the cheese, or if that egg is underdone. I just washed Mr. Emerald. So we're going to poke at this egg and see what we can find here. Very fluffy. Okay, let me see, make sure. All right, I believe that that is some leftover from the water from the steaming process, maybe a little butter. Um, maybe a little cheese oil, but it is done inside. Let's flip her out and see if she sticks. Get you right here. Same plate, because again, I don't want to, you know, I've already used two paper bowls. I really don't want to, that's just blueberry residue. I promise it's not going to hurt anything. All right. So it flipped right out very cleanly. That butter definitely, definitely, uh, helped that. I could have used Pam, but like I said, Pam went home for the day. I don't even have the strength to pull a plug out of the outlet. <sighs> okay, let me cut it open, guys, so you can see. Look at that cheesiness. Can you? I don't know if I can pick it up. Can you see that cheese? I'm going to feed this to my husband. My eye, I'm going to take one bite just to see. We're going to get his opinion, but I'm not going to do that on camera because he is sleeping. Because he had to work last night and he has to work again tonight. And remember, this is Christmas Day. Mmm. Oh. 
All right. That seven egg cooker keeps its five star rating. Five points, whatever we're going to call it. Um, oh, that's awesome. If I could, if I could eat more, I would eat that. That is so good. The, the, the egg is so light and fluffy. And the cheese, is, it just gives it such a creamy quality, that, that pepper jack. Um, wow, that is, that is something else. That is really, really good. I am in love with these appliances. And um, they're just right sized for me. And they're just so cute. I'm going to say that uh, if there's an after Christmas sale, because these will probably go on sale tomorrow or later tonight if Walmart opens back up. I'd like to tell you that uh, go and get you some. Um, they are awesome. Mm -hmm.